Hey everyone, I'm Miles G170, and this is the Mario Maker Top 50. Next, we're gonna look at the Spike Top Syrup Swamp by Bufflin. Now, Bufflin is a great creator. I've played a ton of Bufflin's levels, and this one is one of my favorites. He does a lot of really good stuff. And auto scroll levels are very fun if done well, and very few are done as well as this. I mean, everything, if you're moving the way you're supposed to, everything's right where it's supposed to be as you get there. None of this is unfair. It's all timed out so well that you can really play this level without stress. You know, we're jumping into little small spots and we're out. That easy. That's a good auto scroll level. All you have to rely on is your skill to make those precise jumps. All right, the next level we're gonna look at is Fish Bone Canyon by Brand98. Follow the coin trail and signs to jump, slide, and spin across the canyon. This is another one I don't really remember, but I feel like I played this one relatively early. And it may have given me trouble. I'm starting to think this one gave me trouble. I think it did. I think this one gave me a lot of trouble. Okie dokie. Okay, now we got some rhythm. Now we got a rhythm going, that's what we want. We had a rhythm. Fill the rhythm, fill the rhyme. All right. We're not gonna fail. Thank goodness I could go either way there. Another checkpoint. Alrighty. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Woo! That was a fast cannon. Woo! Alright. There we go. That was a really cool setup. Yoshi! We like our buddy Yoshi. Oh, I didn't get top of the fly hole. Yeah, we're, I, we're a big fan of our friend Yoshi. And there's another one down. All right, the next level we're gonna look at is Collapsing Cavern by Bran. No description. So we'll figure it out as we go. It sounds like there's a cavern and it will be collapsing on us. Oh my gosh. I remember this one. This one's really cool. Oh, 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 I want that. So these kind of levels are really interesting because he had a theme in mind and he stuck to it the whole way through. He made an ice cavern with the ice spikes falling and gave you a chance to get used to everything happening before it went crazy. These munchers really do add a layer of difficulty because now you're having to be more precise. And it's making it really on a lot of sections where you can't touch the actual cavern. You have to be mostly jumping or on a blue platform. 
Then we get out of the way, we get back on, and boom, just like that. Not like that, though. All right, guys, tip number four, pro tip number four. Don't land on munchers. So that's now what? I don't, I don't even remember them all. Have I already given you all munchers? That's the pro tip today. Don't land on munchers, even if I already gave that one before. Another pro tip. Don't jump into ice spikes. That's a two for one, just in case I did say munchers before. So something cool about this level that you can do is you can use the walls to line yourself up when you need to. So like here, you can use the wall to get all the way to the side and you know you're safe. Same here. When I hit that wall up here, I can come straight down without hitting that muncher. Oh, that shouldn't have worked. So here I'm gonna ride, yep. Can I make that jump? I almost saved that. But at that section, what we're gonna start doing is we're going to ride the ice spikes instead of the blue platforms. So now that we've hit our checkpoint, they're adding a new wrinkle to this level that we didn't have before. So to ride the ice spikes, you have to make sure you're actually all the way on top of them. If you hit the side, you will not make it. You will lose that um, attempt. I don't know what was down lower. Oh, so this is just a secret room. No biggie. So now we'll drop back down and we'll ride this down. And that's the end. And that's another one in the books. Alrighty, perfect. Perfect.